A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel, and the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. I hope to do a reflection on the daily readings twice a week on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, and I wasn't able to do so yesterday because of uh, trying to figure out some of the technology. Uh, but today I'm offering you a reflection on the feast day, the Annunciation of the Lord, and, and today's Gospel. Today we celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord, and it's, it's a feast day that we actually call a solemnity, and it's beyond the normal sort of feast day. It, solemnity is the highest sort of celebration that the church can have, and so to give you an idea, uh, Easter and Christmas are both solemnities, so this, this is of the, the highest sort of status, because today we remember that God became human, just as we remember that on Christmas, we remember it today in a unique way, that, that God became one of us, the Son of God took on our human nature. And he did so, we remember today in a special way, he did so in the most incredible way, through the womb of a pure and holy virgin. We heard in the gospel that the angel visited Mary and greeted her hail full of grace. And that's a greeting that we don't see used anywhere else in, in the, the gospels directly applied to a person. We don't see anywhere else in, in the New Testament. It's a Greek word that's applied only to Mary, showing that she has this unique status, that she is a unique creature among all of God's creatures, that this woman is, is holy among God's people, unique. And we hear that in the gospel that Mary consented after, after questioning the angel, after, after questioning in her heart who this was, she eventually consented uh, to the plan of God. And when she did so, as she said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may be done to me according to your word. And in doing so, she shows this total surrender of her whole life. You know, Mary's uh, surrender to God didn't just happen in this moment, but it was a continual daily uh, exercise a continual daily yes to God. It wasn't as though she said yes to God in this one great moment, but it was throughout her life and the little moments that, that led up to this moment. And so this moment was just so natural for her because she was so accustomed to saying yes to God by keeping his commandments, by, by listening to him in, in the depths of her heart and consenting to his, his daily inspirations. And that, that's an important reminder for us that it's not about just receiving one special moment, one special call, but it's about continually, every day, saying yes to God. And when Mary did so, uh, she conceived of the child Jesus within her womb. That's why today we celebrate the incarnation. We celebrate this nine months before Christmas, remembering that Mary conceived the child Jesus in her womb when she consented to uh, God's profound plan. The fathers of the church talked about the fact that long before Mary ever conceived Jesus the word in her womb, she conceived the word within her heart. And it, it's a reminder to us as well that you and I are called to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary to conceive the word within our heart. 
by our holiness of life, by our uh, consent to God, by our openness to God's plan, we conceive God's word within our heart. And as we continue to nourish that word and strengthen that word through prayer and through the inner life, then we share the word or Jesus with the world. May God bless all of you as we celebrate this great solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord.